morning, 8th grade. Mr. Franklin here coming at you another day of lessons. Today we're going to be talking about a pretty sensitive and uh, heady topic. Um, make sure you pay close attention to what we're talking about because the questions are going to be pretty challenging. Your work for today is going to be on the topic of the Holocaust. Um, you're going to need to watch my presentation, number one. Number two, you're going to need to answer the questions on the Google Forms related to the presentation. Number three, you're going to read about the final solution. And number four, if you'd like, there is supplemental material for you. I want to remind you that I have office hours at 4 p.m. every day. 4 p.m. every single day. That's going to be one of the questions on the Google Form. So go ahead and pause right now and answer that question quickly. All right, let's go right into our presentation over the Holocaust. So the Holocaust is often referred to as the final solution and that's the term that Hitler nicknamed it. Uh, essentially I want to remind you that Nazism when it rose in Germany part of their platform was an anti-semitic anti-Jewish platform. Jews were the scapegoat for the problems of Germany so we talked about the massive depression that they had had. They lost World War I and part of Hitler's platform was that it was the fault of the Jews. Um, two idea, ideas behind the racism of Nazi Germany were anti-Semitism and Aryanism. So anti-Semitism is the political and social economic agitation against Jews. In simple terms, it means hatred of Jews. Aryanism uh, was the name that Hitler believed was the perfect race, the Aryan race. These were people with full German blood. They had blonde hair and blue eyes. So part of Hitler, two parts to Hitler's racist ideology was anti-Semitism on one hand and then Aryanism on the other hand, which was the belief that the German people were part of the Aryan race and that they were the perfect race. They uh, were the most intelligent, the most powerful, and that Germany should live up to the power of the Aryan race. Um, here's some pictures, primary source pictures of this belief in the German Aryan race. Now, what's interesting is Hitler himself was was part Jew. He was at least a quarter Jewish. It's not something that he told anybody, but it's something that was a reality. He was uh, born into a Christian family, but had a grandparent who was Jewish. So when Hitler rose to power, um, immediately passed ordinances and laws against Jewish people. And we're going to talk about the Nuremberg Laws. <clears throat> the Nuremberg Laws excluded Ger German Jews from being citizens in Germany. They prohibited them from marrying or having sexual relations with persons of German-related blood. And in 1941, Germany passed a law that uh, Jews had to wear a yellow Star of David in public in order to identify that they were Jewish. Um, I guess it goes to show that the, the Aryan race is not so easily distinguished between Aryan and Jewish people. Um, so the purpose of them wearing those stars, having, legally having to wear those stars in public, was so that German citizens could discriminate against them, essentially. So in November of 1938, the Nazis torched synagogues, vandalized Jewish homes, and killed close to 100 Jews. This was a night called Kristallnacht, which means in German, when it's translated, Night of Glass. And the reason why it was called Night of Glass is because so many Nazis went around and vandalized um, German homes, German shops, or excuse me, Jewish homes and Jewish shops and Jewish synagogues. So it was this night of terror, essentially. It was enacted by Hitler and the Nazi party in order to strike fear into the Jewish people that were part of German society. The whole point of these laws and these... Um, terror events was to separate the Jewish people out as the other in society. What were the ghettos? The ghettos were segregated areas um, where only Jews lived. They were sealed with barbed wire and stone walls. And essentially Jews were cordoned off into particular uh, locations. So the first sort of thing that that Hitler did was the identification, right? The, the put, putting the Star of David on each Jew and, and the alienation. The second was um, cordoning them off, segregating them, uh, the Jewish people. 
into these so-called ghettos, which again were the sections of cities where Jewish people were forced to move and live in that section. So if you lived outside what was the ghetto, you were forced to move there. <clears throat> you see a picture of them building the Warsaw uh, ghetto. Even under these horrible conditions, Jewish um, people hung on. Um, there was uprisings in Warsaw. Um, they struggled to keep their traditions. Uh, they had plays and concerts. Teachers taught lessons in secret schools. Scholars kept records so one day people could find the truth of what happened in these ghettos. Again, the ghettos being the areas of towns under German control where Nazi Germany forced Jews to live. So then Hitler came up with what was called the final solution. The final solution was the, Jew, the German plan to exterminate the Jewish people. So I said we started off with identification and discrimination. Then we moved into terror. Then we moved into segregating. And then finally, the, the plan was to exterminate the Jewish people. And that is referred to as the final solution. Because Hitler said, what are we going to do with the Jewish problem? Oh, here's the final solution to the problem of the Jews. We're going to exterminate them. Again, a pretty horrible looking picture. Between 1939 and 1949, six million Jews were murdered along with hundreds of thousands of others such as gypsies, Jehovah's Witnesses, disabled homosexuals, mentally ill, Catholics, those who resisted communist political dissidents, etc. That's the Holocaust. It is uh, the systematic murder of six million Jews, particularly in death camps, along with hundreds of thousands of other uh, resistors or those who were on the outside of German society. Just some pictures of the brutality of the extermination of Jews. This slide is pretty horrible, but I'm going to show it to you. Um, this is a mass extinction using fire firing squad. It was common at the time. Uh, these women had been ordered to move everything, clothes, jewelry, wedding rings, um, some of, them eating, some of them are even holding children. You'll notice in the next slide, German policemen shooting individual Jewish women who remain alive after a mass execution. Let's get this. <coughs> so a total of 6 million Jewish people were killed during the Holocaust. Um, 6 million Jews, excuse me. Um, and this, is the per this slide shows the percentage of Jews killed in each of the countries that were under control of German Germany. So we see in Poland, up here at the top, 91% with the highest percentage. That's where the majority of the death camps were. So here's a map of where all the concentration camps were. Uh, the majority of them, uh, so you have the concentration camps being this, the light colored ones, where Jews were sent to work, and the death camps were these primarily in Poland, where they were sent to be killed. <clears throat> All right, so that is our presentation for today on the Holocaust. Um, I want to remind you that you need to get 70% of your questions correct in order for me to give you either, at least a satisfactory or um, an excellent rating. If you get lower than 70%, it's marked as incomplete. Make sure you answer all the questions, do all the work. Have an excellent day, and I will catch you guys on the flip side. Four o'clock are my office hours.